morning. Another day, another bowl of ramen. Damn, this really is some bomb ramen. How could I ever leave this city? Miss Kano must be in Kyushu by now. I wonder if she had her wedding already. That egg's all I got in this world, man. Hand it over or else. Man, it's always a blast hanging out with you. That said, I still want a girlfriend. Yeah, dude, and you can be my wingman. Let's go pick up some chicks. No, 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 no. I'm getting off track. I've been doing some thinking after everything that went down. When Emiri left, I was sad, sure. On top of that, I felt really dumb. Did I really love Emiri? Or did I just love the idea of dating a teacher? I thought about it a lot. But I couldn't figure it out. What I did figure out is, you're a true friend. Talking about the heart, dude. Don't you feel it? Just shut up and feel it. Anyway, here, take this. I made it for you. Figured you could pull it off. Your fashion sense is kind of, uh, so I wanted to help you out. I mean, that's what best friends do, right? It's a symbol of our friendship. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the magician Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon you the ultimate form of the magician within thyself. Man, I worked up an appetite acting all weird around you. More eggs, please. Make it ten.
mind your own biz Whatever life is, we gon' flow with the set Hey, 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 feeling the fire with the burning desire Every day we inspire, but never expires But we gon' chill today, let me rock the world tomorrow You know Hey, 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 Putting in the effort to cook a homemade meal always makes it taste extra good. Well, shall we start cleaning up?
you are. Finally found you. Hey, Takeba. You hardly ever miss student council meetings. I've been looking all over for you. Did someone ask you to come find me? Well, yeah. I'm not a member or anything, but still. Ah, oh, well. Sorry about that. You've been pretty busy, huh? What with the class trip and all. It's for both second and third years, so I imagine you have your hands full, too. The class trip? Even if I did go, I'd only spoil the fun. Wait, you're not thinking of skipping the trip, are you? <sighs> you can't do that. That's not an option. Hmm? You know, I've been meaning to talk to you. About what? Well, honestly, you're not the easiest person to relate to. But I lost my dad, too. And I know what that's like. Talk about. So I've decided I don't want our friendship to be over. I'm going to be more upfront with you from now on. <sighs> there she is! I've been looking everywhere for you. Huh? Ryoji-kun? Why are you up here? Huh? Weren't you looking for Miss President, too? I was doing the same thing. Some guy asked me to find her. He said if I didn't, the class trip might get cancelled. Ugh, Odagiri-kun. He'll hit up anyone in arm's reach for a favor. In any case, Looks like I found you, Mitsuru Kirijo-san. And I have to say, you're quite stunning. Maybe we could go out sometime? I know this place on the top floor of a five-star hotel. The restaurant up there has a view of the city nightscape that's almost as breathtaking as you. Nightscape? Senpai, you better head back to the meeting. Oh. Right. Talk about. Thank you for coming to find me. For now, I'd better see to my duties. Hey, she left without giving me an answer. For now, huh? I don't like the sound of that. Well, how about you, Yukari san? Care to join me for dinner? I know this place on Shirakawa Boulevard. Ow! By the way... Attention, please. Fushimi-san of Class 1C. The Student Council President would like to speak with you. Please report to the Student Council room immediately. I repeat. The President wants to speak with me? D don't tell me she thinks I stole the money, too. Y yes, you're right. She'll help us, won't she? 
And if I talk to her, at least I won't have to trouble you anymore. Um, shall we head to the student council room then? Good. You're both here. I apologize for the sudden announcement. The reason I called you here is... It's because people are saying I stole money, isn't it? Yes, that's right. I happened to overhear the rumors. First, I'd like to hear from you directly on whether you actually did it or not. Uh, um... Miss President, I... I... Can do this. I just need to be brave. I, uh, I, I didn't do it. Well, I thought as much. You believe me? Considering all the work you've been doing for the student council, I can't imagine you'd be the type to steal. I fully expected it to be nothing but a baseless rumor. I just wanted to hear it directly from you. Miss President, th thank you so much! That said, we can't expect everyone else to be as understanding. As you have seen, people are openly sullying your reputation because they don't know you as well as we do. I'll figure something out for the time being. That's my duty as the Student Council President. Give me a hand, will you? I'd like your opinion on how to proceed. You've spent more time with Fushimi, so you understand her situation much better than I do. I wish I could handle this right away, but I have other business to take care of. You don't have plans tonight, do you? Come to my room when you're available. And I'd prefer you try not to be seen by anyone. W wait, d d does that does that mean you two will be meeting alone? Alone? I'm not sure I understand the problem. If too many people get involved, it could draw unwanted attention. The two of us can handle this, so you. N no, I can't allow that. Fushimi. All I have to do is clear my name, right? I... I can do something about it on my own. I'm going to demand an explanation from the teacher. Wait, Fushimi! I clearly remember what happened that day. You had a bandage on your chin because you cut yourself while shaving. I also remember handing the fee money to you directly. Or are you really going to say that this is my mistake? Fee money? Give me an explanation right now, or else. I'm so sorry. You're right. It's, it's completely my fault. Well, Senpai has been... Wait, what? Well, the truth is, I accidentally took the money home with me. I've been meaning to bring it back here, but then I uh, completely forgot. What? What? It's just, the payment deadline was pushed back, so I didn't think it was that urgent. Then I kept forgetting to bring it in each day, but I, I figured I'd get around to it eventually. And, well, here we are now. How... how could you? I know. This is completely my responsibility. I'll make sure to explain everything. I'm sorry for the trouble. So there's the truth. I'm almost more dumbfounded than angry. How do you even call yourself a teacher? I'm so sorry. It's okay, Miss President. Everyone makes mistakes. Well, that concludes my business here. Let's go, Senpai. Senpai, 
Over here! Can you believe I went to the faculty office and said all that? I even surprised myself a bit. This whole thing is just... <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Can you blame me? <laughs> Remember when I said, I can't allow that to the student council president? <laughs> it's just, when I thought about you and Miss President being alone in a room together, I got really mad at even the thought of it. ever since I was little, or so my mom says. Normally, I'm quiet and timid, but when it comes to something I care about, I get really aggressive. It's because I... Uh, um, Senpai, there's something I want to say to you. Actually, I've wanted to say it for a while, but I didn't think I had it in me. But I think I can do it now. Senpai, I... I love... I love you! Uh, oh, I see. Um... Then, do you think we could still be friends? Ah, oh, thank goodness. I'm just glad that we're still closer than when we first met. Oh, I still have to apologize to the student council president. I think I owe her an explanation, so excuse me. I, uh, ran out of soy sauce, so... Oh, um, is that dog, um... He doesn't bite, does he? I'm actually a little afraid of dogs. I was attacked by one when I was little. It only knocked me over, but ever since then... I... 
I'm still a little scared, but maybe I'll be okay with this one. Um, I'm sorry for taking up so much of your time. I'll see you at school then. I'm going to do it. Good, good. Not bad, kid. Thanks, kid. Bye-bye.
right. Very puzzling. The plants seem much livelier than they did when we started. Do you suppose they're happy that you are tending to them? Fascinating. There's no data on this, but it seems like you understand them. Hello, plants. I will be tending to you as well this time. Don't worry. I'll make sure to decrease my pressure output. But if anything starts hurting, just raise your left hand. Or rather, your left leaf. I had some prior knowledge of plants, but this was my first time observing them directly. These little seeds and buds in the earth can morph and change so quickly. Is this proof that they are living as well? How fascinating. I would like to watch these plants grow, and document this experience for my records. I will tend to them with my full power! This took more time than I'd anticipated. I will need to run more simulations to ensure there are no delays next time. It's gotten late. We should head back now.
listen. Chan try a new dish I made. She liked it so much, she ended up eating it all. So I told her it was meant to return the favor for what everyone's done for me. But she got really confused and asked me what favor this was about. It didn't seem like she had any idea what I was talking about, so I told her the whole story. And when I finished, she burst out laughing. She told me I didn't need to do anything like that. She said, when you're friends, you don't keep score. <sighs> I've been lying this whole time. To you, and to myself. I don't think it was actually ever about repaying everyone. I am grateful, but that's not what I really wanted to say. What I really want... It's just to be with everyone, forever. The truth ended up being so much simpler, and I just wanted to make that clear. I've just never had the confidence to be honest about my feelings. So I wanted to say I'm sorry for dragging you into this lie. And I know I don't really have the right to ask this, but... I hope you and I can continue to be friends. <laughs> yes, here's to us. I think I'm going to try and be more accepting of who I am. And I'm not going to tell myself I'm worthless anymore. Because I have such wonderful friends all around me now. Would you maybe like to try cooking together sometime? I never asked, because I assumed I'd be wasting your time. But I've always wanted to try cooking with a friend. Don't worry, I'll be right here to back you up. Oh, but... If you see me doing something wrong, please let me know. <laughs> I can't wait! And if we do a good job, it'd be nice if we could share what we made with everyone else.
relax to the sound that goes around and round and round about that. You think so?